Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be pretty quick. It's actually just gonna be an announcement of my no buy slash low buy that I will have coming up until SAS in June. So I've just noticed my collection getting a little bit out of hand. So I wanna rein it in and give myself some parameters um, that I can shop by for the next couple of months. So I do actually have my inventory spreadsheet of all of my body care, candles, makeup, skincare, all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna run through that real quick with you guys and then give you the um, list of my kind of stipulations on purchasing for the next month. So I've got my laptop right here and honestly, I'm doing pretty good on candles. Um, typically, I just my buying pattern is that I buy in fall and winter more than I buy in spring and summer for candles at least. I love fall and winter fragrances. So I just gravitate towards buying more then. I started off the year with 43 wick candles, 20 of those coming from SAS in December. So that's kind of crazy. I doubled my collection in December, but I'm actually already kind of dwindling it down. So right now I actually have 32. I've already gone through eight candles since the start of the year. So I want to continue to keep that up and keep my collection at a reasonable size. So what I'm gonna do for candles is I'm going to intro a new rule for myself, which is the two out one in rule, which just means for every two candles that I finish, I can buy one candle. So according to my calculations, I finished off eight candles. So technically I could buy four new candles. So that's gonna be what my kind of, um, my candle terms are for now until June SAS. Um, I'm hoping I can just not purchase at all for candles until June SAS because I really don't need any more. I have quite a few that I'm working through right now and that'll last me until June. So I definitely could wait until then and then just purchase however many um, candles I've gotten from my two out one in rule um, in June. That would be great. I know at June SAS, I will already be looking for like old fall candles to get at a cheaper price. So that's what I'm thinking I'll end up doing, but that's my candle stash so far. Um, right now I have 32 three wicks and I have two single wicks. I'm not worried about my single wick collection. Um, I think it's at a really good spot and I definitely could use some more honestly. Um, but that I will include in my two out one in rule just for total candles, um, whether they're single wick or three wick. So that's me for candles for body care. Now this is the category I've been going a little insane. I bought a lot of body care in February and March, specifically body scrubs, um, Sol de Janeiro. I did a whole haul of stuff from them um, and a lot of perfume samples that I've gotten in recently. So I definitely wanna focus on getting that stash down. And for that stash, I'm going to implement a four out, one in rule, and that's gonna be overall body care including my samples, including a full size item. So just kind of giving myself a little bit of leeway there, but still being a little more strict with four items. So I'm gonna run you through category by category with my body care. Um, last year, shower gels were a big category for me. I think um, I thought I could get through them really fast. So instead of buying like lotion or spray or body cream, I bought shower gels. So I started the year off with 17 shower gels. I actually bought five in February and I used up four. So now I'm at 18 shower gels. So I'm at one more than I was in January, um, which is a little disappointing, but I am working on some in the shower right now. And I just really need to focus on that category because that's really where I've slacked, especially getting those five that I got in February. And actually most of those were uh, free item coupons from Bath & Body Works. So my lotion category is actually not bad, but it could be a little better. Um, I started off the year with 11 lotions and now I'm down to nine. So I did use up two, I actually used up three and I bought one in February, I bought Coco Paradise. So that one I think could be a lot better. Um, I actually just finished up another lotion yesterday. So I'm doing pretty good on using up my lotions. I just think I could be a lot better um, so that way my collection is ready for when fall comes. So I'm gonna be focusing a lot on finishing up those lotions that I've already 
um, started using. Body butters, I have two body butters right now. I'm pretty good with that collection. I just have a um, Trader Joe's Brazil Nut Butter and then a Midnight Amber Glow. So I think I'm doing good on that. Now body sprays have also been difficult for me because I've, I think I finished off with one last year, but I bought two from Sol de Janeiro in March. So yeah, I started off the year at 24 and now I'm at 26. I have two that I'm almost finished with in my project for spring. So I'm hoping I can work on that, but I really just need to not buy body sprays. <laughs> I'm doing so bad. Uh, body creams, I'm doing actually pretty good. I started off the year with five and I'm actually down to three. So I have one more before I hit my goal, which is only to add two. So I'm doing pretty good on that. Body oils, I have only one, doing great. Um, minis, I also bought three minis from Sol de Janeiro in March. So this category went up. I started the year off at 11. I actually finished off three things and then I bought three things. So I'm still at 11. So I just need to focus on working through that collection. I actually have a few things that I'm saving for fall in that collection. So I might not focus on that until the fall. Hand lotions, I have four right now doing fine on that. Perfumes, I have a lot of minis. So I definitely need to use some of my minis. I have some of my spring project and I'm gonna put some of my summer project too, but I just need to focus on using up all my minis. Body scrubs is where I'm really struggling. So I had 10 at the beginning of the year, which is honestly too much. I think five is like a great amount. Um, so yeah, I had 10, I finished up two and I bought two. So I just really need to focus on using those ones up and I really would like to get that collection down by half. Hand sanitizers is fine. I have nine, but I like to keep some of those did you just hear my boyfriend gaming? Um, I like to keep some of those for every season, so I'm okay with having a little more. And then hand soaps, um, right now I have 11 hand soaps. I did just buy quite a few because all I had was fall scents, so I bought some for spring and summer. I'm not concerned about my hand soap collection because we go, th go through those pretty fast, but still wanna keep that four out, one in, one in rule for all of those. So right now my body care collection total is at 121 items. I'd love to get that under 100 um, by June SAS, finishing off 20 products. I don't know if that's possible, but I definitely wanna keep that four out one in rule. And honestly, if I could just not buy anything, I would put myself on a no buy, but I'm not good at that, so. Makeup, I'm honestly doing pretty good. I need to do a declutter pretty soon, I think, because I think I have some old stuff that I just need to get rid of. So I might be doing a declutter with makeup soon, but I don't need to put myself on any kind of restrictions for makeup. I've been pretty good about only buying stuff when I need it. Skincare, um, I also have a few skincare items I need to declutter, um, but so far skincare I'm actually doing pretty good on too. And then hair care, I just got in a ton of minis, so I need to focus on using up those minis, um, but hair care is pretty much on a no buy. Um, I don't need anything and I certainly don't need any replacements. Like I'm not running out of anything anytime soon. So hair care is on a no buy until further notice. So that's everything for my little uh, no buy, low buy update. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you are saving up for summer SAS. I know it's just around the corner. It doesn't seem like it, but it really is. And then soon after, fall comes out. So I'm really trying to prepare my collection for summer SAS and for fall. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.